Oh, right. I just watched one of the craziest games I've ever seen in my life. And I don't quite know what to think. Motu Monk sent me in this game, and if you listen carefully, you can hear the Mongol throat singing in the background. But this game isn't about Motu Monk or the Mongol throat singing, or his Sith. It's all about Master of Disaster. And Master of Disaster is an absolute legend in my book already, just because of this game. So there's two fully loomed villagers going forward, and yeah, he's going to lame whatever he can, but he's not here to lame, necessarily. He's here because of his outside of the box, inside the box strategy? I, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but you, you probably figured out from the thumbnail and the description that he goes for some of the smallest wall-offs that I have ever seen in my life. And he's definitely fought this strategy through. He has the Polish villagers because Poles regenerate after time. This woman here, she was at 29, now she's at 30, 31, soon she'll be at 32, 33, 34, 35, until she's all the way back up to 40. That's a pretty nice bonus to have. And sure enough, here come the walls, little darling. It's all right. Da, 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 da. I have never seen this before on Arabia, where somebody tries the tiniest wall off the wall in their opponent. A master of disaster doesn't just send two villagers to complete this task. He sends all the boys and all the girls. Five more villagers are on the way to wall in his opponent. Meanwhile, his his eco at home is three villagers on sheep. Two of which, by the way, are stolen. <laughs> lamers. Fui, 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 fui. Laming is so bad. We all hate lamers so, so, so much. Look, I think everything is justified in... <laughs> what? What is this house from Motu Monk? Why is he making this house inside this little prison that Master of the Zen... I mean, I understand you need to house your house, but why make it inside of the prison that Master of Disaster is creating for you? Absolutely hilarious. A couple of seconds ago, we actually did see that some of these villagers over here got shot, but he just moved the walls back a tiny little bit. And... Is Motu Monk going to be completely walled in? Does he have no... Okay, there's a little red speck over here. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny, man. He actually walled himself in. He wasn't walled in enough. And Master of Disaster actually pulled it off. Motu Monk is like, no, 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 no. no. None of this. Absolutely none of this. We're bringing out the <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh man, this is one of the most secure. You you got the smallest prison there is. He's actually going to full wall in his lumber camp. Wait, if Master of Disaster can keep Motu Monk in here for long enough, he'll actually run out of wood. I mean, I, I guess he can get infinite wood over here, but very, very slowly. He's going to have, like, no resources. Is this an actual viable strategy? And if, if we're looking at the score right now, it looks like Master of Disaster is ahead, but you could argue that that is just an illusion because Master of Disaster actually has four less villagers Oh man, Motu Monk is trying to break out all over the place. This scout has been going to work for... Oh no. Motu's gonna get out. He's gonna get out right here. Yeah. And now what? 
Now what, Master of Disaster? Oh, he's gonna get out over here as well. Oh, no. Okay, nice save, but... Yeah, he's already out over here. He has two militia, and... Yeah, that's not great. This is why we don't normally see this strategy on Arabia. I've seen this strategy done before on... Um, Arena, I've seen this strategy done on Hideout, right outside their walls. Actually, I guess I have done this strategy as well with the Portuguese, but not even I am I'm this crazy. I don't go for this small of a wall off, but I really want to play a game with Master of Disaster and see, and see if he can do this again. Oh man, the absolute... Wait, no, no, Motu, don't go back. These villagers are actually here. Oh, no! He's walled in again, except for these four villagers over here. If he can actually clean this up, I'll block all the pro moves. Block, 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 block. Focus down the militia. Focus down the militia. <gasps> one more wall, one more wall. It is so hard to keep your opponent walled in. And I don't think that Master of Disaster has the APMs to keep up with this. How is his eco looking at home? I'm very, very... Uh, Another hole over here. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I expected. <laughs> I wonder what elo this is at. Motu Monk, if you're watching this, could you please comment the elo in the comment section? It doesn't matter to me. You've already made my day. And look at this, Motu Monk. He doesn't. He doesn't have. He doesn't have the wood to create a lumber camp. So he's gonna have to log. It. There's no more straggler trees inside of his. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Master of Disaster is like, uh, sound the horn, <laughs> retreat, retreat to the homeland. <laughs> oh man, this game was fairly enjoyable for me. Oh, he created a house, so now he doesn't have. The wood once more. Oh, there's two straggler villagers here for Master of Disaster. I don't think... If he walls him in again. Oh my god. Do it. Do... Uh, I had I had some... Oh, no. Oh, well, that's too easy, Vilpix. How is the overall uh, Vil count looking? Yeah. Definitely in favor of Motu Monk. Two more villagers down the Drano. And where do you go from here? How does this game even progress? I, I guess you take your berries and your long distance deer. This guy is still walled in, but the rest of the eco is, is somewhat free. The amount of times Motu Monk has been housed in this game is impeccable. Splendid, to say the least. I, I remember when I was getting housed, like every other house, I was like, oh, I'm just going to build 75 houses and then... I couldn't build a barracks or a stable or anything in that nature. Those are back in the uh, the good old days. Wait a second. Master of Disaster is actually up to feudal. What? What's the what's the follow up over here? Two stables? Do you have the economy for two stables? Motu Monk, he can he can almost go... Oh, he can. He just needs to... Uh, oh, he's getting the upgrade. I would just say go up. If you go up and pump out a couple of knights, you, you just raid absolutely everything from Master of Disaster. Going for his own... What, what is it with people and going stables? Just... <laughs> Motu, I want to make this clear. I'm not laughing at okay, I'm laughing at you. But why why are you walling? You're already walled in. There's no way that you can full wall your base. Your your walls would have to go all the way over here because Master of Disaster could just delete any of these wall segments and he could run right in to your base. I, I guess you have I guess your TC is right there, so that's something at least. Um I guess Motu Monk just did not have enough walls. Wait. I saw this on the minimap and I was like, oh no. Oh no. 
I'm also just playing around a little bit. I've already seen this game and Master of Disaster is going to go for two stable all in aggression to follow this up. But all Motu really needs to do is click up the Castle Age. Master of Disaster is nowhere near, even though he has a score lead. I think most of that score is simply generated from his large amount of scouting. Whereas if we go to Motu Monk's perspective, you can see, oh god, just click up. Click up! Yeah, he doesn't have as much scouting. Should actually be constructing either a mark. Dude, don't throw this game. If you throw, I'm going I'm gonna cry, man. You have this in the bank. You broke out of the prison. Okay, not not well actually, wait. Wasn't this guy fully walled in? Did he actually destroy? I'm gonna find a fill pick. Uh, but that's about it. I, I can't imagine that these two scouts are going to swing this game back into Master of Disasters. <laughs> it's full walled as well. Delete the Palisade! Delete the Palisade! Oh, there's too much to keep track of for these players. I fully understand that. As Ooh, actually gets another one. But the party is about to end. Once Castle Age does come in, uh, you, can't, you can't get to him. Cannot get to this man. He's fully walled in. Wait, wait, wait. He actually, he actually did full wall himself in. He actually walled behind here as well. I think he could still technically get in. Like if he deleted like a bunch of these and a bunch of these, uh, his scouts could actually run like this and get into those gold miners. And Castle is about to be reached. And I hate to say, but the fun does stop here. As Master of Disaster thinks, you know what? It's not worth it. Slow clap for you, Master. You're a legend in my book, win or lose. I can't believe that you went for such an out there strategy. Calls the GG. And let's take a quick look at the statistics. Motu Monk has the unit kill lead, 10 to 4, has a score lead overall. More food, more wood, more gold, yeah, that all, that all checks out. More stone from Master of Disaster. It wasn't enough to wall in his opponent fully. He needed to wall in himself fully. I actually think that if he had a better economy, he might have still have been able to switch back into monks or something. Especially Poles, they have a pretty strong economy. And with these Volrofs and, and the way that he's placed these farms, that's actually not bad. He gets instantaneous food sent to him. What's his bank actually looking like right now? I, I don't think this game is necessarily over. I mean, yeah, you're two vills down. Your opponent's already in castle. Your net walls are a lot nicer. I think he could have played on. And I think he could have also taken advantage of this cheeky walling over here. If you just delete all of this, boop, delete, you could actually run through with your scouts and still do damage with them. You're not going to be able to get hit. And Motu Monk, he doesn't have a huge army. I mean, one knight, four scouts, four spearmen. I think it's a little early. I don't blame him, though. Highest military, 11 to 10. Yep, already looked at that. Society, villager high. Yeah, really close overall. And the timeline as well. I don't know. Maybe a bit early. I want to see Master of Disaster pull this strategy off on somebody. I might have to go to AoE2.net, but regardless of how you play the game or what ELO you play the game at, just remember to keep walking, to keep enjoying, keep enjoying the, keep enjoying the Age of Empires 2. Poop Lord, out.